Hello there, this is James, your technical manager here at Panadoc, and today is Friday, January 13th, 2017, and in this video we'll be discussing the ProsperWorks integration with Panadoc. Now what does this integration do? This integration will allow you to create, send, and track quotes, proposals, and contracts within ProsperWorks. You'll be able to start the document creation process from opportunities, people, and organization objects from ProsperWorks. Opportunity records with all your custom field and contact information will be flow into your documents seamlessly. So before we get started, you need to make sure that you have a Panadoc account. You can sign up for one right here, and we have installed the Panadoc Chrome extension for ProsperWorks. So let's go ahead and do this now. You click on the link, and it'll take you into the Google Chrome Store. All you need to do is click on this Add to Chrome, and then click on Add Extension. It'll give it a couple minutes here, and go ahead and get installed on your Google Chrome web browser. And in turn, it will show up inside your Google Chrome up here in the upper right-hand side. So let's go back to the FAQ. Max says one thing you have to keep in mind is that the ProsperWorks plans and access to the API. That please note that this integration will only work on a professional and business ProsperWorks plan, as these two plans have access to API functionality. Please review these plans here, and if you're using the basic plan, you'll need to upgrade or contact ProsperWorks support in order to gain access to the API. Next, let's go ahead and log into our ProsperWorks account. We can show you where how we could use this integration. So here we are inside of ProsperWorks, and we do a simple refresh of the screen to reload, and we'll go ahead and open up the UI for ProsperWorks. So we have three locations. We can do this within companies. So let me go ahead and open up a company, click on a company name, for example, and then over here on the right-hand side, you'll see the Pandoc Chrome extension. We also go into people, so we can open up individual persons, for example, Peter here, and over here on the right-hand side, once again, is a Chrome extension. We also do this within opportunities. So we open up an opportunity, go in here called Use for Demo, and open up that opportunity. And then once again, over here on the right-hand side is the Pandoc Chrome extension. Let's go back to the FAQ, and as we scroll down, we go through, we talked about the installation. Next, we need to talk about a step two, set up a Panadoc template to be used with ProsperWorks. How we're going to pull information from ProsperWorks to Panadoc. First is we can use something here called Panadoc Roles. With the use of Panadoc roles, we can import ProsperWorks opportunity object contact information. The following information, first name, last name, email address, and company can be used to pull in from ProsperWorks to Panadoc. So let's go into a Panadoc template. Once again, over here on the right-hand side, we click on roles. You notice that we have a role here called decision maker. What this does for us, if we go to con content and tokens, you'll notice it gives us four tokens, first name, last name, email address, and company, that once again we can use in different locations throughout the course of our template in order to populate that information as you see here. We also have the ability to uh, use other fields from ProsperWorks, such as the opportunity name and value, company name information, and contact information by using things called tokens. We can use uh, tokens from two ways. Let's go back to the FAQ as we scroll down. Uh, we, uh, here's some information for you regarding tokens. So here's some token values that you could use. Simply right-click, copy, and drop them into your Panadoc templates. Or inside of ProsperWorks, for example, inside of this opportunity, we're using the, the green module over here on the right-hand side. We click on the green gear icon. Then we go to tokens. And then once again, you'll know, list you about all the tokens right here that you can also use to copy and paste into your Panadoc templates as well. Okay. All right, we'll keep on going down. Then, of course, we have the options to track our documents as well. So let's go back to ProsperWorks. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try to create a document and send some information over from ProsperWorks to Panadoc. So we'll be using this opportunity. We have a primary contact here by the name of Peter Prosper with an email address and an associate with company. And this information will be passed over as part of our roles. And we have also some other field information. So all that we need to do here is click on Create New Document and Pandoc will fire up. We go ahead and choose the template that we want to use to uh, accept data. First thing that will pop up here is it asks to sign to roles. So all that we need to do now is assign this contact, Peter Prosper, to the decision maker. We click on Start Editing, and now it can be at the document level. It's going to give us some information as we scroll down here. Here's our role information, the contact, first name, uh, last name, email address, and uh, company. Here's the opportunity and name and value information that's been passed over, our company name information has been passed over, and our contact information has been passed over as well. Now here at the draft level of a document, of course, we can add more blocks of information here if we wanted to. We can add additional fields like a signature field or initial field. 
as part of our business and enterprise plans we also have our uh, library options or our content library options for example if we wanted to add additional information we simply drag and drop that content library in there but let's say we're ready to rock and wall roll all we need to do is we click on send we go and give it a name quote for uh, Peter and then I'm gonna click on save and continue we have a send document message screen where we can add an additional message here if you want to or use an example message here. We click on send document and now the document has been sent out. So what's great also about this integration is that we can close this out and in turn go back to ProsperWorks. Now inside of this module that we have, here's a brand new uh, document that just created and in turn we can track the, the uh, status of the document as it go, continues to go through its life cycle. So once again, this is the ProsperWorks integration with, Fan, uh, with Pandoc. It's a fantastic integration to get you going, to get those documents sent out very quickly. And as always, if you do any additional questions, concerns about how this integration works, please reach out to us and we'll do our very best to take care of you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.